Insights for ArcGIS is a new web application that gives you fast, dynamic, and powerful data exploration and discovery. Insights introduces the concept of workbooks, pages, and cards, where we can explore both our spatial and our non-spatial data. These are two workbooks, one focused on terrorism, the other one focused on piracy. So when we start an analytics project or study, the first thing you do is ask a question. In this case, how can we better understand the strongholds for terrorist activity and what socioeconomic conditions may fuel their support? These are pages. And pages are where you can complete all of your analysis. So let's explore the Global Terrorism Database from the University of Maryland to know where terrorism is happening, how it's happening, and who is responsible. Insights allows you to easily explore all the attributes of your data. And cards are a visual representation of that data as either maps, charts, or tables. In this case, the chart depicts the temporal pattern of the data and indicates that in the last 18 months, there's been decline in the raw number of terrorist events. Digging deeper, though, we can replace this card with a different tree map chart that shows the significant terrorist groups associated with the number of fatalities. And this card can be filtered to remove the unknown values. By creating an additional card provides a way that we can understand what years these groups have been in operation. And as I click on the different groups, all the cards update simultaneously. And we can learn that the Taliban has been in existence since 2001 to the present and is located in Afghanistan. ISIL has been in existence since 2013 and is located in Iraq and Syria. And Boko Haram is located in Nigeria and has been in operation since 2009. As a side note, I know that in March of 2015, Boko Haram pledged their allegiance to ISIL. So with a simple drag of those selected points on a map, we can create a subset that's just focused on Boko Haram. And let's, but let's look at this at a more Nigerian state scale analysis. Insights allows you to bring data in from multiple sources, whether from within the portal, from Excel, or from databases such as SQL or SAP HANA. In this case, I can search the portal for Boko Haram's historical areas of operation. And we can spatially filter that global terrorism data by simply dragging it on the map. But I know that within this AOI, what I really want to focus on are the number is to create a summary table that can focus on the number of prevalent attack types. And I can learn that armed assaults are highly concentrated throughout the historic AOI. Bombings and explosions are concentrated what appears to be along thoroughfares and uh, thoroughfares and populated places. Facility and infrastructure attacks are located in highly sub-clusters. And hostage taking is actually number four and is located along the northeast and along the border with Cameroon. Next, we're going to add an additional database to corroborate our results. So here we have the armed conflict location event database that identifies events solely related to Boko Haram. As with the previous data set, the one thing we want to check is the temporal distribution. And we can see that in March of 2015, one faction aligned with ISIL. Our next task is to summarize this data by the state, Nigerian state boundaries. And to do this, we can go and select the layer style, select the faction that aligned with ISIL, and with a simple drag of those selected points, we can drop it on the map, and what this gives you is on-the-fly dynamic spatial aggregation. Below, you can also discover an action button. And what this does is it provides a wealth of additional analytic tools to help answer your questions. So now that we've focused on the more state-level analysis, let's dig a little deeper and focus on the Nigerian local government areas. So here we have the Boko Haram events, the, local, the Nigerian local government areas, and a number of cards from the Living Atlas, which include the 2015 total population, 
to understand where individuals may be at risk, and the 2015 purchasing power per capita to understand the livelihood of individuals in these regions. So to complete our local analysis, we want to overlay all three of these variables. And the best way we can do that is to create a scatter plot chart. Our discovery is that Boko Haram strongholds are in the northeast and concentrated in the rural and poor areas of Nigeria. So from this workbook, we've illustrated interactively exploring the global situation for terrorism, utilizing multiple data sets to understand terrorism at the Nigerian state level, and exposing a few of the many socioeconomic demographics for terrorism at the Nigerian local government area. Using insights, we completed a number of different analyses, but what I have not told you is that throughout my whole analysis, everything's recorded. Insights has created a model of my workflow. It's documented all the work that we've done, and we can share this model with other people. Everything from the workbook to the specific pages to the individual cards and their connections to the source data can be shared back to the portal, all because all these layers are web maps. Insights is a, way to ask, is a new way to ask questions, to get the answers you need, to document your work, and to share your information with others. Thank you.